Let's get your breaking news that's coming in this morning. Karthi Chidambaram has reached the CBI office for questioning in the Visa for Chinese Nationals case in which his properties were raided just a few days ago by the CBI. FIR was registered against him. He was summoned by the Central Bureau of Investigation for questioning. And it looks like Karthi Chidambaram has chosen to completely cooperate with the authorities. He's now appeared at the CBI office and is being questioned. Every case forced against me is a bogus case. One is bogus, one is more bogus, and this is most bogus. So this is alleged a visa scam, what we have been told, that you have not facilitated... Not, I have not facilitated a single Chinese national in getting his visa, let alone 250. I have given out a statement, I don't know if you have read it. Every case forced against me is a bogus case. One is bogus, one is more bogus, and this is most bogus. So this is alleged a visa scam, what we have been told, that you have not facilitated... I have not facilitated a single Chinese national in getting his visa, let alone 250. I've given out a statement. I don't know if you read it. By Karthi Chidambaram there, where he's saying that these kind of allegations, this uh, scam that the CBI is looking into, is completely bogus. He's also said very clearly that he's not facilitated any visas, not a single visa for any Chinese workers. So that's Karthi Chidambaram's defense. He's saying he has nothing to hide and will cooperate with the officials also on this. Munish Pandey is joining us with more details on this. So Munish, the CBI's investigation going forward there with Karthi Chidambaram now appearing before the officials for questioning. Yeah, well, uh, Achita, uh, yesterday he came to India from abroad and this morning around 8 o'clock he reached the CBI headquarters in New Delhi for questioning. Yesterday, a summon was also issued against Karthi Chidambaram. Now, what we have been given to understand is that the Central Bureau of Investigation will be questioning Karthi Chidambaram today in connection to the Visa for Chinese National case. The allegation is that Karthi Chidambaram um, helped a Punjab-based company in getting visas for a, uh, a for 236 Chinese nationals, and that was for a thermal project. Those are the allegations. And uh, specifically, what CBI has claimed that uh, Karthi Chidambaram was given bribe of uh, around 50 lakh rupees through his associate Bhaskar Raman, who has been arrested. Now, as far as this uh, entire allegation is concerned, the uh, uh, the main allegation is also uh, against uh, the uh, the two companies. One was Punjab-based company and another Mumbai-based company uh, who helped Karthi Chidambaram in getting this bribe. But as far as Karthi Chidambaram is concerned, he has claimed, and through a statement also, he uh, said that these allegations are completely baseless. The person who they are claiming that uh, he gave bribe, that person already died in 2018. So how can CBI record a statement in uh, um, uh, of a dead person? Now, these are the claims being made by Karthi Chidambaram, who has just appeared before the Central Bureau of Investigation. But sources within the agency have told India today that CBI also have certain email exchanges between Karthi Chidambaram, Bhaskar Raman, and the company which is also accused in the case. And what CBI is claiming that based on the evidence, based on a preliminary inquiry, when they got a concrete evidence, that is when they um, um, uh, they uh, initiated searches and uh, uh, issued summons to Karthi Chitamram. Also, uh, what is going to be interesting, uh, uh, Akshita, that after the questioning, whether he will be um, uh, summoned again today or not, because CBI has been directed by the court to issue a notice three okay. days prior of arresting Karthi Chidambaram. So he won't be arrested today, but it is certainly going to be troubling not only for Karthi Chidambaram, but also for P. Chidambaram, because he was then the Home Minister, Home Minister, and uh, the visas for these Chinese nationals were allegedly issued by the Home Minister. Yes, that's obviously a question that will come up on whether P. Chidambaram also was involved in this alleged scam that the CBI is investigating. Any details that we have with regards to uh, you know the questions that will be asked to Karthi Chidambaram, the questionnaire that's been prepared by the CBI? Well, actually, the line of questioning is certainly going to be his association with Bhaskar Raman, who was earlier also arrested in INX media case, and Karthi and P. Chidambaram both were arrested in the very same case. So, uh, according to CBI, Bhaskar Raman has not been only a chartered accountant, but also a very close associate of uh, uh, Karthi Chitamram. So one certain question is going to be why Bhaskaraman received 50 lakh rupees from a company who wanted 
visas for China, 236 Chinese nationals. Now, apart from that, what CBI is specifically going to ask about the email exchanges. There are one or two email uh, regarding those uh, visas which directly went to Karthi Chitamra, but there are series of email exchanges between the uh, Punjab-based company, the Mumbai-based company, and Bhaskar Raman. So these are going to be the line of questioning for Karthi Chitamram. Uh, uh, his questioning will start uh, uh, from uh, from now uh, okay. at the CBI headquarters. But certainly, um, apart from these crucial evidences, what the CBI is claiming, they will also ask about whether he approached uh, Home Ministry for visas uh, uh, or right. not. It's going to be very important. Okay, Munish, we'll track all the big takeaways uh, of this particular case. And the big development today of Karthi Chidambaram also being questioned by the CBI. He's turned up right now as we speak at the CBI headquarters. Thanks, Munish, for the moment.